So welcome to this online course for teacher professional development for remote teaching. I'm going to explain about the structure and the different activities that you'll be interacting with. And I'll explain in terms of both smartphones, those who are using smartphones and tablets, and those who are using laptops or desktops. So I'm going to start with those who are using smartphones or tablets, mobile devices. So the moment you log in into your course, what you have to do first, uh, first of all, you have to click on the motor icon. So like here, I click on the motor icon. So now you, you will have to enter username and password as you, you are used to. So I'm sure now you might, you might be knowing how to log into your Moodle course. Click on site home again. And then you'll be able to see the available courses. Click on available courses. Then you'll be able to see the different courses. Click on this course where you have teacher professional development. And then you have the different activities that you are in front of you. First of all, so as we said yesterday, and before that, you have first of all to introduce yourself. Uh, first of all, this is the, the point where you'll be receiving uh, general announcements. So all the announcements from the instructors will come from this particular button here. So what you do, you have to click on this button and then you'll be able to read all the announcements of the week or the all activities of the week that you have to go through. And then this is the introduce yourself part where you have to, to introduce yourself, light a little bit about yourself, where you are coming from, which subject do you teach and what do you do, of which what you, when you want to do this, you click on this particular button which is yellow in color here. Yeah. Plus sign with the yellow in color, and then when you click on this, a window will open for you to be able to start writing. So at this particular point, you have to write the subject like, hello, how are you? And then at this particular point, you start writing your message. So I am so-and-so, and so I come from so-and-so, and so you put details here. Once you are done, once you are done, you click on post to the forum. So once you are, you are done, you can click on post the forum, then you click on post to the forum, it goes to the forum. So that's what we do. Otherwise, you can come back. Otherwise, you can come back and then start leading the introductions of other people, scrolling down to lead the introductions of other people. And then you can decide to reply to any of these. Let's say you want to reply to the introduction made by maybe one of them, Cordelia Awasabi, Awasabisa. So what I do, I click on this introduction. So I click on the introduction. And then I click on reply here. So reply means I need I want to write something on what uh, Koberi has done. So I write here my message. Uh, so I write something, and then from there you click on post to the forum. The message goes as a reply to the message made by the first writer. So that is how we use the discussion forum. So I'm going. No, I'm not going to post because I know you you can be able to do that. So I'm going back to the original point of the course. So now. When you are here, you start, you will be able to start accessing the course. Now you have these course modules, you have details and you have the videos. So you have videos. At the end of the video, you will have what we call lesson practice. Lesson practice, these are the questions that you need to go through after watching the video. So click on the lesson practice and then uh, attempt these questions, these quiz questions. Like here, if you see here, it is telling you that this is, uh, you can attempt this three times. And then this will be open till this date. And you can click on this quiz, attempt the quiz, so that you can be able to start answering the, the quizzes. So now you see these are the questions. You can select which one is the right answer by clicking on any of the choices. And then you can also be able to go to question number two. Maybe if this is the answer, you can click on C. And then if this is the answer, you can click on D. And then when you are done, you click next so that you can be able to to go to the submit your quiz. When you click on next, that means your quiz will be submitted. So that is all about the activities. I'm going back because I know you can submit. And then what you do in the course, as you're in the course, you can be able to go through the course again, course materials. You have uh, videos and questions, videos and questions. Go all the way to videos and questions. You have to attempt all the questions that are below this. And then you have all the videos and quizzes. So at the end here, you have what you call discussion forum. So discussion forum is the point where you uh, participants have to discuss and share their own experiences. So you have a question. You you I mean you want to share something that you have been able to learn throughout the week. You go to the discussion forum and click on this discussion forum, and then the discussion forum will open up. So you click on this plus sign here to be able to start writing something in the discussion forum. So click on this particular icon here, and then 
write something in a response to the question that will be set. So you define the question and then you have to respond. And when you're writing in the discussion forum, please write in detail. Don't write, the, I mean, responses like, yes, okay, good, very nice. Yeah, that is okay, correct, fine. No, just write two or three sentences, even more, so that whenever you're writing something big, the other readers can be able to understand what you're writing. And you can also give examples as well to make sure that people can be able to understand what you're writing. That will make your point much more clear and people will be able to understand the message you wanted to convey. That's why we, we insist on writing paragraphs, sentences, not, not just words, but sentences to make sure that people can be able to understand. And then, well, okay, I, I'm not saving because you can manage. Then at the end, you, have, you also have uh, these, the PowerPoints, PowerPoint slides that we have used for creating these courses will be found here. And this is for those people who have no less point and connection. You can be able to download this PowerPoint here, a PDF document, and then be able to use it offline, lead offline to be able to have a good access to your, I mean, to your document. It has the same content as the content which is found in the video. So once you click on this, it will download, it will go to your phone, it will go to your phone, and then you can have access to it. And you can read the PowerPoint. So this is, these are, this is the PowerPoint and the dis different, uh, different activities, I mean, different questions and setups different notes and setups on how each has been implemented. The same as what is in the video. So for those who have low internet speed, this can be used very useful. So I'm not, I'm going back. And then you we have what you call so at the end uh -huh, again we have two uh, external resources here. We have some videos, there'll be some links which you must go through these resources. These resources are meant to help you be able to expand what you have been able to get from the videos will you will be able to add knowledge onto what you can be able to expand so that the topic is much more clear. So once you go through these resources, there will be a quiz for these, which questions that will come from these and which are graded, that means we contribute to your to your score, will be found in the assimilation quiz. So again we have another quiz known as the knowledge quiz. And then we have another quiz known as the reflection quiz. All these quizzes are meant knowledge quiz is the quiz that is associated with all the videos and modules you have gone through the week. And reflection quiz, the quiz that is or, or connected from connected from the discussions that are happening in the discussion forum, which means you have to go to the discussion forum, share and participate, and then be able to come and answer the reflection question. So this is all about the structure of the course. I am sure that you will be able to go through and learn, and I wish you all the best. For those using laptop or desktop computers, the work becomes much more easier because what you have to do is click on, you go to uh, Malim Hub, you go to malimhub.ac.tz, and then from there you will click on uh, login, click on login here, and then from there you can be able to enter your username and password. And then from there, once you enter your username, and password you need to click on login so that you go into the system now now in this case you're already in Moodle so what you have to do is click on teacher professional development and then you'll be able to see all the courses I mean the all the course activities from here you see videos and activities and quizzes and videos and activities and quizzes as well so what you have to do from the beginning is that look into the general announcement if there is any announcement from the facilitators Click on introduce yourself so that you can be able to say something about yourself. So this is the point. You click on a new topic and then you'll be able to write something about yourself. And then when you click on new topic, you'll be able to write something. So write what is the heading and then your, your message. You write your message and then write hello, hello everyone. So maybe hello everyone. And then from there, once you write your message, click on submit to the forum, post to the forum, and then the message will be going to the forum. And then what you have to do again after introducing yourself, uh, this point is where you can be able to uh, uh, post technical questions. Whenever you have any questions that are technical, post on this. Whenever you want to relax or share some other things out of topic, out of the topic, but which are relevant to teachers, you can share from this uh, social launch here. Click on social launch and then click on new topic. You can be able to add something from the discussion forum, right, into the discussion forum here. 
And then from there, you, you start going through week one. So this is week one, I mean, which has the introduction. And then you have the videos here. And then after the end of each video, you have practice questions. These are practice questions, which you have to do because they come from the videos. Likewise, a video and the practice questions. So you scroll all the way down, keep on going through one video after the other, all the way and do the practice questions. And then at the end of this particular week, you have what you call the discussion follow-up. This will allow you to be able to share your own experiences about the technologies you have been able to learn, the new experience you have been able to gain from the course, so that others can also be able to react. So what you do, click on the discussion forum here, and then you click on add a new topic. When you click on add a new topic, you 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 like the heading here, maybe what I learned, what I have learned, and then I have learned, for instance, and then type what you, you want to say, say something about this. Or you can say you have to respond to the question that is given here. Read the question carefully here, and then you'll be able to respond to the question, like which part of the uh, which which particular distance education technology is specific to your area. So like something, maybe distance education technology to my area, and then light the details for this. Then once you are done, click on post to the forum so that this content gets posted in the forum. So uh, okay, that's all for that. So that is all about the dis uh, discussion forum. Then from there you have also what you call uh, external resources. I mean, you have the PowerPoint slide for this work. Click on this particular folder here so that you download the PowerPoint PowerPoints of this particular document that we, we have created the course. So the PowerPoint will open and then what you have to do is download the PowerPoint and start reading. And then you have what you call external resources. These resources will be a, a resources that will come, will give you more deeper understanding of the topic of the week. So you need to go through the resources so that you can be able to work, I mean, to to respond to the quiz, which is a submission quiz, which is graded and which contributes to your scores as well. The knowledge quiz is the quiz that is actually combining all the content of the week. So when all the videos, modules of the week will come, there will be a quiz for that, that is graded also, contributing to your score, final score. And then you will also have another quiz that is called reflection quiz, that will be coming from your participation, participation in the discussion forum. So participate in the discussion forum so that you can be able to get, a, a, you can be able to score a good mark into the reflection quiz. So that's all about the structure. So likewise, next week you have week two open, the other week week three and week four will also be opening like that. And you will have the same structure as you have seen. Thank you.